Hey guys, welcome to this video on summations. So here we want to evaluate the following summation, which I have here in the orange rectangle. And it runs from i equals 1 to 6 of 5 times i squared plus 2 times i minus 3. So let's go ahead and try to uh, solve this summation. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the summation. So it goes from i equals 1 to 6 of 5 times i squared plus 2 times i and then we have minus 3 here. So I'm going to use uh, the summation property to break this up. So this means that we'll get the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of 5 times i squared plus the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of 2 times i minus uh, the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of 3. All right, and now we're going to uh, move the, the constants over using the properties of summation to get the following. So we get 5 times the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of i squared plus uh, 2 times the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of i minus the summation from i equals 1 to 6 uh, oh, times 3 over here of 1. Okay. Now, we can use a formula to solve this. And I'm going to write that out here. Let's write it up here. So, here's a formula that we're going to be using. If we have a summation in the form like this, summation from i equals 1 to n of i squared, then this is equivalent to saying uh, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Okay. So that's one formula. And then another one that we're going to use, I'm going to put over here is the summation from i equals 1 to n of i. This is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so we're going to say number 1 here. This is formula number 2. And um, we can actually, I can actually put out another formula as well. This third one states if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of 1, this is equal to n. Okay, so that's formula number 3. And so what we can do now is we can just plug in the values for n here and uh, solve our uh, equation. So now we're going to get 5 times... Well, we have i squared here, so our n value is going to equal 6, and we're going to use this first formula up here. So we're going to replace uh, the n value with the number 6. So we get 6 times 6 plus 1 uh, times 2 times 6 plus 1 all over 6. Oh, that's pretty big. Um, might need to go ahead and evaluate this out. Actually, let's erase this and, and move it down a little bit more to have some room. Okay. So again, we get 5 times. We're going to do 6 times 6 plus 1 uh, times 2 times 6 plus 1 all over 6. Alright. And then we have uh, plus 2 times the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of i. So we're going to put plus 2 times 6 times 6 plus 1 over 2. And what we're using here is we're using that second formula here. We're just plugging in uh, for the value of n, we're plugging in the 6. And then last but not least, we have minus 
minus 3 times the summation from i equals 1 to 6 of 1. And we can use that formula here. Just replace 6 for n, and we're just going to get the value n. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and reduce this a little bit. So let's see, we're going to get 6 times uh, 7 times 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So all that over 6 plus uh, 2 times 6 times uh, 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2 minus 3 times 6 is 18. All right. Now this is equal to 5 times 7 times 13 because our 6s are going to cancel out. And we're going to add 2. Well, let's see. 2 times uh, 6 times 7 divided by 2 is just 6 times 7. So we're just going to say 6 times 7 minus 18. And now it's looking a lot better. Um, let's see, we're going to get 7 times 13, that's 91. So we're going to get 5 times 91 plus 6 times 7 is 42. So we have 42 minus 18. And now we get, uh, let me see, 5 times 91 is 455 plus 42 minus 18 would be uh, 24. And this, of course, is just equal to uh, 455 plus 24 is 479. And so that's our answer. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe guys if you found it helpful please share the video and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video